Alongside the instruments for assessing social, behavioural and developmental qualities, patients will also be given a neuropsychological assessment to explore aspects of behavioural and cognitive functioning. In the next clip, Pat Abbott explains this process. The idea of the neuropsychological assessment is to identify people's strengths, uh, but also to see what difficulties that they have. So we use a range of different paper and pencil type tasks, we use a touchscreen computer, and we use video clips to formally assess speed of information processing, visual planning and integration skills, executive functioning, so planning, problem solving, attention, organisation, and also social perceptual skills. Now, although the neuropsychological assessment isn't diagnostic, it, we are looking for a particular profile in people with autism because we know the difficulties that they have and the way that autism affects the brain. But also, we can use the results of the neuropsychological assessment to give people advice about how they can use their strengths to compensate for the difficulties that they have and also what strategies they might use to help them overcome those difficulties as well. So the whole aim of that is to help them lead more rewarding and fulfilling lives.